Hello? Hi. Hello? Oh, bad. I thought Hello, man. How are you doing? Pretty, pretty good. So you're saying this is your first season? Oh, uh, yeah. What the fuck, man? That is so insane. For first season and you reach D2, that's crazy. My first season, I was like bronze. I played so much in this one season. I was just like spam, spamming game. <laughs> so what was your first champ? First. Did you like find Orn instantly or? Oh no, I played I played so many different champs actually. I, but my first champ was, I think it was Sichuani Jungle. I started watching um, the Bows, you know, the Inting Sion. Babus. Yes. So I was doing the like, same thing, but I just was not winning. In thing, but without the winning <laughs> part. Yeah, that's the, that's generally the hard part. And then you figured out that playing normally sometimes works better than doing whatever Babus does. Yeah. I mean, the playstyle did get shit on. Because it was super annoying. It was super annoying playstyle. I think I switched to mid at one point. I was playing like Predator Galio, Predator Sinch, Predator Annie. Yeah, well, now you're playing Orn. Yeah. A good champ that will never ever be touched. Dude, I love Owen, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's pretty fucking fun. They become Radiant. I mean, Radiant, you know, you'd think in a high elo in Diamond and when people are actually knows how the game works, Radiant will work, but nah. Even in Grandmasters, it doesn't work. It's just... There's no teams. They don't really function. So I think uh, I've been favoring Yaksha a lot. So I started out using Yaksha, right? And, but then you were saying how, like... If you're behind, you go radiant, right? Yeah, but I was if you're like getting shit sure. stomp. If you're getting completely shit stomped, I mean, it can work, you know? I'm not saying it's bad, it's just uh, for solo queue, I think it's a little more impactful if you're even or ahead to go Yaksha. If you're even, I think Yaksha is fine. Mm. But like 20 CS behind is kind of even. Like it doesn't have to, I'm saying behind like completely like four deaths, no purpose, enemy laner has completely shot on your face. We are last pick. And, I'm all and we're fucking support. support. Bro. <laughs> so what do you think are like uh, your biggest weaknesses other than just completely just abysmal CS? I mean, there's some matchups I just haven't figured out how to play properly, like Camille, Warwick and stuff. But like I, I can play like against Darius and Aatrox pretty well, and then sometimes like I just, I just leave lane for too long. I'm looking at an, an Irelia, and you went like one twelve. Oh dude, I got, I got, I, I was so confused. <laughs> Biggest advice versus Irelia is just um, going bump lady man because and double armor because second wind does not do shit versus her. She will just all in you all the time uh, versus Aatrox. She went against Aatrox. I think I'd prefer second wind. Yeah, oh, I was just testing it and, out. And uh, double armor. Testing yeah, don't worry. That's why I'm here. I will perfect your Orn. I will forge it into a perfect, unstoppable beast. Um, also, Bami's into melee matchups is fine for this preseason. You can still go Bami uh, because you lose a lot of flame pressure. I'm thinking of Bami like this. It's a kind of an investment. It sells for 700 gold. And if you get a kill, that's 300. Bami served its purpose if you get a kill because of it. So it's almost like you lose nothing. Plus, it makes CSing early game easier because that's when you need help CSing early game because that's where you haven't gotten all your spells, you know, ranked up. So you're not spamming them and you also have mana. Oh. So what do you struggle with Camille? Does she like? Camille? Level one, do you walk up or? I watch your uh, vid, uh, VODs, right? So I'm trying to be like a bit more aggressive early game because I feel like you win those trades earlier. I mean, uh, from level four you do, but uh, you have to give Pryo until he shoves you in level three, wave bounces back, you craft your items, she probably recalls and buys an item and that's where you fight. Yeah. Also, you're not buying refill um, like every back. You should be buying a refill every back. Legit, just every game. First back, refill because you can build the items at lane but you can't build the potions so yeah yaksha and bam is into melees and refill every game and we're just gonna get better at these matchups yeah yes i'm pretty sure the only orn in north america that is worth anything is a uh, weak side william <laughs> Oh yeah, we can say William. Oh my, I love watching yeah. the clips. <laughs> Dude, he came into my chat and he was like fucking, Oh, I use your orange sheet. I was like fanboying all over the William. I mean, most of these lanes like Camila Irelia, you, you are gonna give level one. And when the wave crashes in like the third wave, that's when you build items and that's when you fight them. Because even if they like recall and buy an item, they can't really be stronger. Because uh, you're on, you, you're built anyway. Okay, you're fighting Ilawi, right? Yeah, it is time to lane. Okay, so just wait and just queue the first three minions and your Amos is passing top. So just try. I should wait for like the lowest. wave there. 
like that. Yeah, just kill, oh, just kill. Ah. There's no need to auto attack it. Just kill. Uh, you're gonna let her push. And you're just gonna wait for the Ramus gang and you're gonna kill her. Uh, yeah, just trying to minions. Yeah, the melee one. And the ranged one. Uh, try and stack grasp and see if she walks up to you. She's playing. Uh, don't play super behind. Just like, don't push. Like, stay in the lane, but just don't push. Just keep it on your side. Maybe she's oh. playing safe like that. Oh no! Alright, fight her. You don't need to walk all the way back. You can just fight her. Yeah, okay, just walk up to the wave. If she doesn't want to push, just fucking bully her then. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. You need the minions to walk up so you can see us without uh, getting eat. It's a little complicated matchup. Okay, she used E. Okay, Q and W here. Oh. Punk. Get the cannon, get the cannon, no. the cannon, oh. the cannon! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Okay, I will not talk so much because I think I'm gonna distract. Oh, uh, stay in the wave. Stay in the wave. You can fight her here. Don't. Okay, no need to ignite. Don't ignite. Don't ignite. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, she dies. Okay, shove, shove, shove. Can you shove? Cause she's gonna TP back. Uh, assist, assistance, ping assistance. Use all spells on wave. Make sure she doesn't freeze. Make sure she doesn't freeze. Ping, 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 ping. Make sure, make sure. What's the final the freeze? Make sure it crash. Just ping, ping. Just, just let the wave crash. Just walk forward. Get potions. Because if she freezes there, you're fucked. You can just recall here. Just call. Just don't recall in front of her face. She'll cancel you. Ah, but it's gonna smack you again. There's no point in channeling oh. TP. Bruh. I thought... Okay, so I saw his toys. Yeah, it hits twice. Uh, just get cloth refill. Uh, fucking ruby refill and TP. You're just gonna go... Uh, okay. Bammy's oh. You're gonna miss that cannon. Yeah. No, don't kill that. Well, I, now you're gonna be forced to eat. Eat right. while they have the brittles up, or else you won't get them all. Wait, so do you always W max? Uh, yeah. Into melees, yes. You can Q here. Hold the wave. Hold the wave. Hold the wave. Just hold it there. Just legit stand still. Stand still. Don't do anything complicated. Stand still. Okay, E forward and. I mean, I don't think you can even kill, but That's... hold the wave. Just go back to wave. Also, like, I kind of have, like, auto attack on. Okay, so stop tanking. Still. Stop tanking the wave, man. The, your wave came. You just blasted it now. And now we chill. Do not move there. Keep waves. I mean, I'm going to send to your life, but I don't think you need it. I think you can just go. Oh, fuck. E away. E to the edge. Oh, it's another two. Now, you just stand still and sidestep. That's all. Uh, farm did farm the waves. She has no E. Uh, you can kill. Don't don't force it. Just QW. Okay, you are using your Qs a little too like. Just wait until she does like an auto attack or something. Then you can cast your spells. Alter, alter, alter. Oh. Don't use the combo. Just straight ult. Ignite, 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 ignite. E away. You way, you way. Cookies, cookies, cookies. <laughs> Don't force the combo. Just use ult. Shove the wave, man. Shove the wave. She has no teleport. Oh, shove the wave. Shove the wave. Fast. Okay, why, why does everyone try to do the combo? Just, just please. Stop. Okay, use know. potions. Okay, he doesn't know. I, wait, I wait, wait. No! You way. It's fine. Potions. Oh, he sucks. Just kill him, man. You him. Oh. Okay, when he's just auto attacking you like that, Q him for the slow. Okay. And stop axing Q. Just W, man. Just control W, control W, just spam that. Okay, see, if you shove the wave faster. He wouldn't have killed me. Because there. when opponent dies, he, he wouldn't have reached you, you know? Just. I mean, now you're just gonna get shoved in. That's. All that's gonna happen. No, I walked into it. EOA. Oh my, what? Now this is. This. Yeah, well, here's the thing. She's eating you and you're panicking. You're rocking all over the tentacles instead of. Okay, listen. What you're supposed to do versus Ilawi is just stand still when you're out of the E and just let only one tentacle spawn so this doesn't happen. You are too scared. To CS because you're afraid of taking damage. Okay. Um, 
Just trying to get the melees, man. Walk up! Don't be scared. Okay, igniter, insta. See? When you kill your opponent like this and they have no TP, shove the wave because it makes you get the wave and they lose it. Just recall now. Recall. Okay. Recall. It's fine. You don't need to. And now we get ready for Drake. No. You just go back to up lane. Why do you have this need to help people? You can barely help yourself, man. You need gold. Okay, okay. Play selfishly. Selfish. Selfish. Every time. Do not help others. Unless it's past 14 minutes. Playing consistently is the only way to, uh, you know, win. Like, you do not TP there, you just let them fight it on their own. You have your own things to deal with. Every time you lose a minion, just like, discipline yourself to just lose as little as possible. Just get everything. All the scraps. Nope, she walked into That's tower the range. What the fuck? Double your man, don't let her walk up to you. And just walk away. Now you're gonna get hit by all three tentacles. Yep. Oh, she's gonna get still, hit right? again right now. Yep. Do not stand like in the middle of the No, man! Uh, okay. Have you played this matchup a lot? No, I've actually never seen people pick this. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, ult, ult, ult. ult. Oh, just hold and just stay in your tower. Stay in your tower. Stay in your tower. E, e, e the wall. E the wall. E the wall. You are losing CS not because she's bullying you out of it. You're just missing. <laughs> uh, go help, Ramos. Go help. Go help. Oh, it's dead. I don't have ult though. Uh, yeah, just go. go. Ignite. Or I think it's just that you just yeah okay. Like you just have to farm. That's like you're not. Poking her just farm man. It's not as <laughs> you saw that range minion, like you need to have like a tick. Every time you lose a minion, just like you think, oh how could I get have gotten it? You know, something like that. You don't have vault, so you need to flank it. Sure. Nah, you, they don't need you. They don't need you. They don't need you. Oh shit. Ramus and you me will kill. They do not need you. So do you just like not show up to the Drake fights like ever early? Well you show up when you're strong and when you can help. You don't show up if you're 70 CS with nothing, you're basically a target dummy. Get the CS man, use the spells. I think you're too focused on Ilawi that you're just forgetting the main... Okay, she's just gonna kill the tower, just QW the minions. Oh shit. Oh no, there's some more. It's fine. That's not fine. Yeah, I think you're kinda dead. All good. Uh, we scale. You have to go e. Yeah, well, you're not CSing, so you need CS to scale. That's the main part. Do not TP there. I need to, I need to E what? Get, get blue trinket. Oh, blue trinket, okay. Because you're behind. And TP there, TP there. There you can TP. TP. Right there, the ward is right there, man. What the? Kill Diana and leave. You can't kill Samira. Well, actually, no, nope. Igniter. Nope, never mind. Nah. Leave. Do I, I complete my boots or no? No. no. You can't. You're too broke, man. You don't have the privilege <laughs> to finish boots. You're gonna stay on your brokey boots. They just give them speed and nothing else. If you're poor, you don't get better boots. No, you don't. <laughs> you're poor. And uh, you're gonna look towards Thornmail. Actually, I think Gargoyle looks better here. Um, like, Thornmail would be good, but you're kind of gonna get one shot, so... Just get the uh, armor. Armor. Oh, armor, armor. Not, not the mar. And you're gonna do this Drake fight, but you need to stall for your ult. Yep. Yeah, I have to back. Because Lau is splitting. I do have TP. And she has Hellbreaker, that's bad. Yeah, you have TP. I think you just kill Lawi and give Dragon. Kinda just have to sit back. Uh, try and go on Lawi if she walks up. Just ping, just ping her. Kill her. Ult this. Yeah, ult. Yeah, ult. You walk forward, man. E. And ignite, 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 ignite. She dies. Oh, no. what? 
uh, Twitch got do not stand still. This wouldn't have happened if we just uh, manned up a little bit. Water early. Yeah, because we had kill early, we had jungle, we just kind of played like a... not aggressive enough. Yeah. And we did play aggressive, we played stupid, so... I mean, it's your first season, but... Either inhibitor, you could have killed him. No, I, I got him no, anyways. Don't fight more, you don't, you don't win, you don't win, just... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He's your potion, man. All right, there's a lot of shit to work on. Okay, see, th this Maybe is too good. much. That means there's a lot of things to improve on, you know. Yeah, they're all the way up from here. It's uh, only up from here. I thought you would be missing CS because you'd be bullied out, but you're not even being bullied out. You're just straight up just missing it. <laughs> I don't know if that's bad or good because at least you're not being bullied, but you're like kind of. Just getting bullied by your own tower. I just leave lane in every situation possible. Why? Just play selfish, man. Like every time Jake comes up, I'm also there. I mean, usually we do win the five before though. And I secure the Drakes, you know. Yeah, but it's usually not worth it because enemy top laner will just be a Irelia or Riven or Trinda or Camille or Darius that will just stomp all your. Players like when you get to face stronger players, that won't work a lot. You'll have to lane, or else everything just goes out of control. Look for ult here. Hold on, Panth. Oh on. my! Try and save you, me. Bro, she ate my thing. No. It's fine. You Q W and run. Yeah, sometimes you lose. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, I had a game yesterday too. It like I just got like. I just down like a lot of CS. I don't really know what happened. Yeah, usually you just spam your abilities on the wave and CS happens. Use the E, man. Get a kill. <laughs> Path of stats, right? Ah. When we start here, we kind of want to be. We want to be here and we, we want to queue like this. Okay? So, or either from here or from here. No, you just want to kill all minions. So you don't want to be, you, you don't want to kill like this because it will only get one out of two. Well, uh, like one out of three or two out of three. Yeah. You want to get all of them. So how you queue there, beat the queue from here or from here or from here. I thought you were supposed to like wait until like the lowest possible. It is so it just into you, right? No, it won't because it'll be mostly the same. So the way you did, you just auto attacked it. So you got only one minion. And then you kind of like moved your mouse and struggled all over the rest. So what I want is for allow you to push in to like hit all these minions. But if she's not doing that, then the wave will just be stuck here. Mm -hmm. And if she plays like that, then we just have to fucking just go aggro them. Because if she doesn't want to do anything, then we're just both losing CS for nothing. Okay. Because right here, we're staying way too far up. We should be like somewhere around here, just like in auto range of her, because if she fights here, she gets aggro from this minion, this minion, this minion, this minion, this minion, and you won't get aggro from any of them because your Q actually fucked these ones. So they can't reach you and you have like a whole army here, right? Yeah. So like stay like in it, you know, because no champion can win 1v1 if you're inside the wave. Right here, every time you drop a minion, Ow! One minion. Could have gotten that. Could have, like, don't drop them for no reason unless they are, like, so much stronger. Like, she did W start. Like, here, you can fight. You're level 2, you know? Here, you should be just on her instead of being away. If she decides to not push, then fine, you know? Fuck it. <laughs> we fight. And you win because you have grasp. So, like, you need to have, like, a worm in your head. Proc grasp. Like, every time you see it on your bar, just... Proc it, proc it, yeah. just how can I proc grasp? And she did e-start here, which you don't have to back off. Here, you can actually fight because she used everything on the dummy and you got like, what, 100 damage? If you fight her here, she has nothing. She used her E and she used her W. She has no spells. So if you actually walked up as soon as she hit you, you would have done QW and you probably would get, um, you just get uh, E as well from these waves if you just hit her, you know, be aggressive. Walking back, 
is fine but it's not fine that the wave is still pushing into her so that's why i prefer to walk in so you want to double down if she's not pushing double down on the fight until you win the trade then we kind of got fucked again we're waiting now here again you should be on the wave you should not because you're dropping cs and you're prioritizing hitting the plus five gold tentacle that does nothing has no purpose like we're already down like even the professor thinks is it minus 15 like and the game already started and there's no reason to be down gold and here i said uh, to stay behind the minions because she can eu and then she can wq it and that would hurt and you don't really have a way to trade so here i would just queue the wave and just try and hit the cannon from behind the behind the range minion here there she uses e and that's your time to punish like here you can queue her but we kind of missed uh, you need to hit ahead of her so here you cancel the auto attack cancel the auto attack and finally hit auto attack here you should have just gone for the cannon because this thing was about to die you need to have awareness of your wave because you do not want to drop minions as on you really don't because as i said tank items are really expensive you need all the gold you can so here the wave is still fine you have ramus here you can pick a fight here you hit q you hit w ramus killed this is where the lane should have been completely over for her because you still have ignite she has no flash and you want to ping for him to shove because there are two waves here and you don't have the cooldowns to do it yourself because you want her to, to reset without having to tp so that way you would have ignite tp and she would have none of those so that's why i want to do this she will be forced to tp for this wave here otherwise she's super behind so you just press qw when you want to shove waves you want to press qw auto attack the nearest minion and then e the the, the rest here like allow he wants to hold this wave and make you tp but what you want to do here is ping ramus to like just let the wave shove let it get in tower because if she holds six minions you will be forced to tp and then here we backed but when you want to back you don't back in front of her face you just want to back at this tiny corner here at this corner and when Ilawi ease you what i prefer to do is just stand still and just wait until the other swing comes and then you step to the left or the right doesn't matter you just instantly step like 90 degrees either this way or this way when the tentacle comes you just sidestep hit it once sidestep again hit it once tentacle is dead no other tentacle spawned so here we're forced to tp back allow you got what you wanted and when you want to see us under tower like this you have to e them because your e alone isn't enough damage to kill yeah but with your brittle it is so you want to e like the the cone yep i'm pretty sure you only get like these three minions and this one misses but you want to like use all your abilities to farm under tower early on because it's kind of hard like you auto attack there and then you just didn't use your E at all. And the Lavi thought you were gonna sidestep, but you just stood still and you missed like five minions for no reason. So here you saw Ramus and I told you to E and you listened. But uh Lavi just ran away, so we should have just run back to the wave. Okay. Because we lost like two melees. Like they de aggro. Do you wanna make sure that all minions while you're doing it, you stay aggroed? So just be aware of the minions around you don't like lose sight don't don't tunnel vision you know just look at the whole picture of things don't just look at ilawi must kill must kill must kill like it's all simultaneous so again you overcomplicated the tentacles like you're like oh it's gonna swing at any time nope it is a predictable thing it will swing wherever you are it won't swing like it won't predict your movement it won't go like all over the place well just if you stand still it will swing this way and then it will swing like Four seconds later it will still swing this way so if you just stand still you'll dodge it you don't need to like panic i think you try to combo you queued way too far so here is where you should hold because you see ramus here on the map that he's coming and you have ignite there's no way she gets out she has no flash you just instantly ult here but uh, ramus didn't go for it and it would have been free i just wasn't sure if like ramus was gonna come or not though like he just finished yeah but now he came and you want to insta ignite because the tentacles are just about to hit ramus and the ramus clone so that means that they heal mm -hmm. and we ignited kind of late because the sooner you ignite the better it is because here you almost died because she, if she casted that q you would have been just dead 
So like probably you and Ramus. Like you want to instantly ignite. You're not igniting for damage. You're igniting for the heal cut. So I ignite the, the moment previous she wounds. Ults. Yeah, the, the moment she does anything, you ignite. Because the moment a tentacle is about to hit, you ignite. And why I wanted to shove the wave out is because she's dead and has no TP. And Mordekaiser is mid lane. I'm pushing the wave, so we don't spend extra time. So you wasted three, four, five, six, six seconds. We wasted just because you're trying to recall. And again, you want to auto attack a minion and then E. It pushes faster because you do two things in one. And I, I don't like just we're just kind of like hanging here instead of either recalling or shoving the next wave or, or, or doubling down. The next wave becomes super greedy because we saw Mordekaiser clear mid. I mean, here it's unlucky, but you spent like... I don't waste three seconds. I like you pushed the wave and then you walked. Like you had the idea to back, right? Yeah. So you push the wave and then you're escorting the wave against nothing. Because you can see on the minimap where the minions will be. You can see here, like, where your minions are. And that's very likely where the enemy minions are. And by very likely, I mean it's legit. That's where the enemy minions are. They're in the middle. Yeah. So, even if these do catch them, they'll die fast and the wave won't, like, push through her super hard. Even if it does push, she looks like a minion maximum. So, you just back. Re instantly, you recall. After shoving the one wave. But instead you chose to hang around here for like 6 seconds. And you could have just been gone. Already. Because Mord killed you and then Ilawi got 2 plays. So Ilawi basically got 2 kills there. Which is really bad. Because that means all your the lead that you got was just thrown away. And then you got hit by a tentacle. Again, you don't need to... Like yes, you run outside, but you don't need to like move around everywhere. You just stand still. When you see that vortex thing spawning, you just stand still. You let it hit, and then you sidestep. But then you walked into this tentacle. So it automatically swings, and this one spawned, and it automatically swings, and then this one swings. If you walk into it, yep, that one swings as well. So when you're eat by Lawi, the tentacles will swing. If they're already spawned, they'll just swing at you. But if they're not spawned, they'll have to spawn, swing, spawn, swing. I mean, again, this is a hard matchup, which, you know, most people I recommend, they dodge it, but I don't. Because you'll face a bunch of Ilawi pickers probably this season, because tanks are probably going to pick much more. I wanted to ult here instantly, because they're going to dive you. And you won't really have time to cast your ult if they're all going in on you, because you have 900 HP. Because most of the time will happen, they'll dive you and you won't be able to cast your ult. Because you'll be dead. Yeah. You know, the, the ult will run over your corpse. <laughs> There's no one to headbutt it. <laughs> which is why I want to cast it first. Because you want that to be the first thing you cast and then you just either kite. So here, this would be really fucking good. Because when Ilawi dies, the tentacles do, I think... They either swing less or do less damage. It's just good that she dies. Because there's nothing else you can do to the tentacles. There's no more damage to be added. And here we potioned. So we did that. But we should have eat the terrain. Because we want to make... She's in tower range. We just have to make sure she dies. Because she's strong with the build. She has sheen, chain vest, tear, coal, boots. None of this shit works versus Zorn. Um, and then we helped here. Took us a while to notice that we were top lane and they were nearby. We should have walked right here. Like, just when we spotted it. And then we just kind of got eaten by Alawi. And she demolished the tower. And then we got Mordekaiser. Like, again, it becomes a curveball of mistakes. Because the more mistakes you made, uh, you make, the more they're going to add up. Because the mistake of you missing a cannon, level 3, affected you not being able to kill Alawi. Like, it, it just becomes more and more. So we want to minimize mistakes as much as we can and then the game just became a fiesta where you don't really well you don't really do anything you're just kind of just hoping they throw also you can w mordekaiser's e or ult so you don't get pulled but i'm pretty sure you had it off cooldown yeah you had it off well you could have w'd here just w for damage i mean Either way, what I would recommend would be just do drills 
for CS because you're not only missing CS when you're being pressured, you're just missing CS in general. So just go like level one as Orn. And just try and farm without Bammies or D Shield or attack speed or anything. Just farm without spells. And if you want to do it while you feel pressured, do like put a bot against you and don't touch the bot. But that's an advice I give to a lot of people because a lot of people need to get better at CSing because that's the most important part of top lane is just knowing how to CS when you're being bullied. Most of these mistakes were just overcomplicating things. Also, we should be awarding. We were staying in our wards for like, basically didn't use a ward the entire game. Like here, you would want to ward somewhere around here in this bush or in this bush here or in this. If you're on this side of the map, you want to ward on the tri bush. If you're on this side of the map, you want to ward in this bush. Yeah, usually I buy like a control ward and I put in tri bush. Yeah, but here's the thing about control wards and when you play a tank, it depends on the matchup because there are matchups where you just cannot contest the ward because it puts you in a like gold deficit. Because if you're fighting a Jax on this side and you put a control ward on the tri bush, how can you stop the Jax from taking the ward when he beats you? You can't. Which means he gets 25 gold and you get minus 75. So you only get control words if you're in a state that is completely like even. That is, you you don't win, but he doesn't win. Like you want to make sure you can contest the control word. Okay. Or else you just lose gold. And the ping here is just hold G and just like usually G and hold the mouse right. Like what's the, is it called? So it's on my way, just spam on my way, oh, on my okay. way, on my way, on my way, on my way. Just get these people wired. And here you should W the minion because it's at an HP where the tower just kills it. So, because melee minions take two, three towers has to kill, range minions take two, and, and cannon usually Picks uh, fucking a bunch. Just don't miss, don't miss cannon. For cannon, usually just use spells. It's not worth like auto attacking it. But control words in top lane, only use them if you can contest them. Like do not place them deep. Like don't put them into like her jungle or like don't put them into her bush because she'll know it and she'll clear it. Like if, if you want to put control word in a, like enemy territory, put them in like this bush here. That's the only place where you can put a control word on this side of the map. Or you can put them at Krugs here. Or you can put them at enemy red buff bush here, but that's not really needed that much. I mean, uh, control wards are all about just getting info on either enemies or just if you're gonna get ganked or not. Yeah. The info on just whether you're being ganked on or not is the simplest you can do, because it's the one that helps the most. But if you have time, after you crash a wave, you can ward enemy jungle. Because that helps way more. Because knowing that enemy Mordekaiser is at blue buff is way more impactful than knowing that enemy Mordekaiser is two feet behind me. So here you would be auto attacking this melee minion and trying to farm with Bammies, but instead you're just running in circles. I don't know what that is. Why, why are we just running in circles? Just be decisive and just do not do random shit. Just do the same thing every game. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. When I look at your OP G, you're having a lot of this, like low CS, that's weeks I will leave, sorry. Uh, like low CS, low CS, when there's no need to, you just stick with the wave, stay in it, like be molded to the wave. Um, And get Obami and Yaksha more. Okay. You use the matchup sheet, yes? Oh yeah, yeah I do use, I use the matchup sheet. Yeah, okay, just keep, just sleep with it, man. Sleep with the matchup sheet, just, Cause you're at an elo where you kind of really badly do fucking need it. Cause laners, you know, they start bullying you. Uh, I mean, I didn't get to witness much team fighting. And I don't really have an NA account, so I can't really see much. But I feel like your laning is pretty poo poo, man. Cause even matchups were like not dying, not against CS, not against CS. Yeah, just CS. The CS is like must fix or else you're gonna plummet all the way back to gold, man. I swear. When I play yeah. it's just low too. It's just always you just low. have because you can't even form jungle camps anymore. So riots made top lane more and more dumped down. So like it's not as complicated as it was. You just farm, kill enemy, ward, kill farm, ward, kill farm ward. That's like the loop you should be doing. When you ult, do not walk back. Like you did here. I'm just like do not. Ult. 
Do not have like like do not walk like that. Just walk forward. Because the sooner you walk forward, the faster you get your ult. The faster you get to head by that. Here the Q is completely like off. Okay. Like I, I don't know what I don't know what you're trying to hit here, but is it Ramus? Like also your auto attack in the minion? Just get to the ult, man. Get to the ram. Don't let the ram get to you. You get to it. Okay. Because the faster you ram it, the faster you get to headbutt. Uh, also, you should be popping potions. Don't, like, oh, I feel like you're just disrespecting your laner so much, but respecting him at the same time. I can't understand whether you want to fight him or not. <laughs> Any other questions you have about matchups you can ask now? Not really, but, like, so generally, I just want to, like, keep doing my own thing until, like, 14 minutes in. Yes, that's what you should be doing all the, all the time. You just play for yourself. Only for yourself. Like, until 40 minutes, that's when you get Unleashed Teleport. Until then, you will TP back to lane at least once, and that's it. You will just stay top. I want to try to keep, like, like you're, you're... my TP. Like, if it's around, like, 13, 14, I want to, like, just not use it. Uh, You just don't use it. You don't. Okay. Uh, You hold TP, like, the latest time you can use it is at minute 8 or 9. But even then, your TP will still be late. Because when you hit 40 minutes, that's when you're like, okay, time to look at bot lane. Just look for flanks. So it's not worth Cause... to like run like run bot or something and a TP back to top after. Uh or... no, not usually. That is super rare to do. I think it's much better to just get lead top lane. And then 14 minutes unlock, you continue that lead everywhere else, and then you just start team fighting you, because the enemy top laner wants to match you. Because what you want to do is just stay with the enemy top laner, like be, be like a dog, you know, just follow him around. Mm -hmm. And when you get 14 minutes, that's when you break the chain and you just start going off by yourself and helping team. This means like it, you're going to pee for one kill. If you're going to pee. Make sure you have a good flank and you have ult up. Do not TP without ult up unless the fight is already like in the middle of it. Um, or you can TP before 14 minutes. The only time you can TP is uh, for dives. Like if your bot lane is getting di dove, you just need to work on CS and stay wave. Stay in wave. Do not pussy out unless it's Darius or Trindomir, a lethal tempo user. Okay. But stay in the wave. Okay. So how much do not, do not Do not jiggle around. Like, don't go in circles. Just stay in one place. How much CS should I be aiming for? Like, uh, at least for your level, dude. Uh, like, 7 CS a minute, 6 CS. Seven. So, basically, double numbers. Okay. Because these numbers are way too low. Like, th these numbers you only get if there are, like, three people top lane all the time. Literally camping. Like, sitting. Even then, you can't get these low numbers. The games are going for 30 minutes, and you're at two items. 20 minutes, you haven't even finished the mythic yet. Like, even in this tank matchup, right? You're uh, like, this guy has 130 CS, and you have 110. Like, has he bullied you that much? I guess he got fed, but... So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about you, man. Just fix the CS, okay? Have a good one, man. You too. Bye. All right, see ya.